like a bell cut. Hey, what's up guys? Logan here from Toxicity, and today I'm going to be talking about a problem I encountered the other day with GTA 5. Now, if you notice when I walk around, if you're a keen-eyed individual like myself, you can see that the frame rate I'm running at is very low. Right now my indicator says it's about 24 FPS, which is under the acceptable level for me, honestly. 30 is about acceptable. 60s optimal and then above that it's just fucking perfect so there are a few methods i found online searching through forums to fix this now the first of these involves going to your nvidia controller so if you alt tab out and uh alt escape go to your home or go to your uh, desktop you can open up your nvidia control panel by right clicking and then hitting NVIDIA control panel. So this will bring up this whole thing. The first method I found was turning off triple buffering. So it's already off here. Um, and yeah, it's on by default, but I've already turned it off. What triple buffering does is buffer a frame ahead of time to avoid screen tearing, things like that. It's kind of like V-Sync, just not V-Sync. Same principle does the same thing, but does it a different way. But as you can tell by looking at my GTA 5 game, it still looks like shit, 24 frames a second. And I'm sitting here like, you know, what the fuck's going on? I have an even better graphics card than what I had before, but I'm running at an even lower frame rate. What is going on? So I go back to settings, and the next method was to go to your graphics and turn off VSync. So we're going to apply the changes. Yes, would like to apply. And there you go. That gives us about a we're running at 136 frames a second now. But it really doesn't look like 136. Now it's up to 149. And it doesn't really look like 149. Really, it still looks like 24, but it's labeling it as 140 something, 130 something, 150 something. So that's you know still a problem so what you have to do is go back now to your nvidia control panel and vertical sync under manage 3d settings is uh automatically set i think to use 3d application setting but we're going to go ahead and set that to adaptive go ahead and hit apply and once that's done applying i'm going to go back to gta 5 and as you can see, for me, it still looks like shit. So I'm like, okay, all right, all right. We really need to fix this. So if you know what VSync is, it binds your frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate. So I don't know what my monitor's refresh rate is. It's probably not great, but I can you know, still play games on it and stuff. So if we go back to graphics, we see that the uh, refresh rate that it's set to is 24 hertz on kind of the basic generic settings. So 24 hertz, pretty low. That's why it's set to 24 frames a second. So we're going to go ahead and bump that up to the maximum, which is 60. Yes, would like to change. Now, if we were running around, you can see that our frame rate is actually really good. And yeah, I mean, like, does not look great compared to what it was. 60 frames a second. Monitor still says 140 something. That's not right. As soon as you reload your GTA 5 game, it won't say 100 whatever anymore. It will actually say 60, the correct frame rate. Um, it's just kind of weird with the whole V-Sync, but those are all the methods I found. Some of those work for other people. They didn't work for me. You know, the whole refresh rate thing is all you need to do if you have a problem like mine. So I was stuck at 24 frames a second for oh, a long time, and it really bugged me, and I could not deal with it just because, you know, it looked like shit. So 
glad we got that fixed. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped you guys. And I will see you next time. Stay with me.